Hey guys, it is me, Jacqueline, and for today's video I have a book review for How to Hang a Witch, and this is by Adriana Mather. This is Adriana Mather's debut novel. It comes out today, which is July 26th, and this is a YA supernatural book with paranormal elements that involves witches and ghosts. I had some pros with this book, I had some cons, I gave it actually a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I have a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's get right into this review. So what exactly is this book about? So this is going to be sort of hard for me to explain. I'm just going to say the best summary I can. I didn't know too much before getting into the book. The only thing I knew was it was blurbed at being the Salem Witch Trials meets Mean Girls, which is sort of a interesting blurb for this book. But for me, I'm going to try my best to make the best summary I can. So in this book we follow a 15 year old girl named Samantha as she's moving from New York City to Salem, Massachusetts. The reasoning behind the move is actually because Sam's dad is in the hospital, I'm not going to get into any of that detail, but he is in the hospital, it's starting to get very expensive, and prior to Sam's dad actually being in the hospital, um, Sam's grandmother passed away and so the house that Sam's grandmother had was passed to her dad and so they had the house and convenience and so to save money they decide to actually move to Salem Massachusetts instead of living in New York City. When Sam arrives to Salem she realizes people are keeping her at arm's distance and they're actually treating her illy and that is because she is a descendant of Cotton Mather and Cotton Mather was a really big influencer when it came to the Salem witch trials and there is also a group of girls called the Descendants and they are actually the descendants of the people who were killed during the Salem witch trials. Not only is she getting sort of all this hate for being a descendant of Cotton Mather, but she's also starting to notice sort of paranormal activities going on. There's stuff in her house that are happening and stuff outside and a lot of people are actually blaming Sam for these incidences and so she decides to investigate it and that's where this whole entire book takes off. I hope that was a good enough summary yet again. I didn't know anything when I went into this book so I didn't really know how to give a really good summary for this book so I hope that was good enough. Let's get on to the pros I had for this book. So probably the biggest pro I had have for the book is the whole ancestor descendant atmosphere that this book has. I absolutely loved that detail so much and particularly why I loved it so much is because Adriana Mather is actually a real life descendant of Cotton Mather. So she took her family history, twisted it and created it into this fictitious tale and I love that element. She's actually the 12th generation Mather. I think I read that somewhere in her biography and I think that's so cool. She has descendants from that were on the Titanic and all this stuff and I thought actually this is like a weird idea that maybe like she could write other books that have like her family history in them since this is like the Salem Witch Trials. Maybe she can do something with the Titanic. I don't know. It was just an idea I had because I thought that was so cool that she actually is like the 12th generation Mather and I loved how she sort of actually handled that element. It was a lot of fun to read. Honestly, that's probably what I would describe this book was fun to read because it was entertaining and there were parts that really had me gripping, wanting to know more about it. The whole mystery aspect that is thrown and weaved through this novel was really well done. And with the whole mystery element, it made me read this book so fast. I literally picked up this book on the plane ride back home from Chicago, which is where I picked this book up. I got this at BEA slash BookCon and that was like April something and I read it in two days. I flew through this book. I was so invested into it because I wanted to know more about what was going on. I wanted to figure out this whole mystery thing that happened and it was really gripping, which I really appreciated. So let's get on to the cons I had. So the first one I have is the characters. Now. Ah, I don't really know how to describe my relationship with these characters because some characters I actually liked, others I didn't like but I didn't mind them because I almost felt like we weren't supposed to like them. And specifically, I want to talk about the main character, Sam. When I was reading this book, I had to keep reminding myself that she is 15 years old because there were some things that I were just like cringing a little bit. I didn't want to say that she was naive, but I just felt that it was very typical in a YA novel, certain things that came up or certain sentences or certain thoughts or certain phrases, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, ooh, like I've seen that a couple of times, but it wasn't bad. Like, she wasn't an awful main character, it was just 
very typical YA teen character that came from it. Like I said, my favorite thing about this book was the whole Descendant thing and how that came into play and the whole mystery aspect. But a con I have for the mystery aspect specifically is I saw something in the beginning of the book. Like, it, it was sort of like a cliche aspect and I was like, oh, it's probably this. And it was that and I sort of guessed it. But still, I was flipping through the pages because I wanted to know more and more and I was just really into this book so that was a pro. Then the next con I had was the romance. Now for me personally I honestly think they could have done without the romance. I think this book could have really stood well just regardless of that factor but with the romance and the love triangle I guess it is I would describe it as um, I just really felt that the one player in this love triangle was pushed upon too much and it was just so obvious where the direction of the romance was going in and I just felt it was so unnecessary to even have that love triangle aspect like I understood the romance part like they could have just had the two people they didn't really need that third player in my personal opinion that's just how I feel about it and then this is a con as well it has to do with the mystery aspect because yet again that was a pro for me i love that whole being intrigued trying to figure out what was going to happen next yada 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 but with the mystery aspect i wish there was more like explanation or more scenes that were really diving into it because we did get these great scenes and then like by the next chapter it would be like fast forward x amount of hours and i was like what 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 happened like and then she would just like quickly review it i wish we were actually there when she discovered certain things i don't know how to describe that without being non-spoilery so i'm just gonna leave that there and then the final thing i wanted to mention was the writing the writing for me i would say was pretty average i wouldn't say it was the best writing i wouldn't say it was the worst writing it didn't really affect my rating for this book at all because yet again it was just average and I didn't actually mind that it was average I thought that was pretty good because I wasn't really focusing on the writing per se I was more indirectly focusing on the whole mystery aspect and everything like that so overall if you are interested in a YA supernatural book that involves witches mystery ghosts anything like that I would highly recommend this book yet again I definitely enjoyed it I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars just because I liked it but I felt that 3 stars wasn't enough I felt 4 stars just was a little bit too much so that's why I went straight in the middle like I said in the beginning of this video this book does come out today so you can get your hands on it if you do decide to pick it up let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this book or what you simply just thought of my review and I will see you guys in my next video bye